Hi everybody, this is Mark Scheller, Top 1% St. Louis Realtor. Back today with another video and this one is called Street Creep. Now, I remember a time in the 1980s when a street creep was something completely different. But for the purposes of today's discussion, it's regarding streets that move around. Say what? All right. Now, it is natural for 99% of us to think that streets are stationary, but they do shift around, especially in the hot summer months when street temperatures can reach 120 degrees. It's very hot. Okay, so hot streets expand, cold streets contract. Okay, so next I'm going to go away and I'm going to share an image with you full screen. All right. Okay, so now in the hot summer months, the two yellow legs expand and both push into the middle against the orange curb. Can you see that? And then the orange curb pushes out, which pushes on the four pink driveways. You might be able to see those. They have the black arrows on them, okay? So I was out there earlier today and I made a one minute field video to try to help represent this. So I will merge that in next. Okay, so hi everybody. Today I'm gonna to talk about street creep, okay? So what happens, especially in the summer months, is these streets can get hot and when they get hot, they enlarge, okay? So see here around this bend, this street here in the summer, as this street continues to grow, it pushes this way. Does that make sense? Okay, can you see my ruler? All right, it pushes this way. And what happens is this rubber strip here then ends up being needed. They actually had the saw cut this. They put this rubber strip to try to protect these homes and these garages from any kind of damage, okay? The reverse of that is also true that on this side of the street, as the street continues to grow and move, there is a big gap here that needs to be filled, okay? So it's pulling over here and it's pushing over here. Now, street creep can be expensive if it actually cracks the garage footings, okay? However, a lot of times the actual repairs done to the street are done by the city. Okay, hope this helps. When street creep goes unchecked, it can crack footings, it can crack frost walls, and there can be torsion cracks in the corner of the garage foundation. Concrete is this amazing product, but it is not flexible at all. So as the street grows and the curb pushes against the driveway apron right by the curb, then that pushes against the driveway, which is concrete. It's not flexing at all. Then that pushes against the garage slab where you park. And eventually the foundation behind everything is trying to absorb these enormous pressures that are put on it by the street. And it just can't handle it. Okay, so the fix. What is, Mark, what's the fix? Okay, the fix is to cut a soft gap in the middle of that system somewhere and fill it with material that can be compressed, okay? This protects the foundation long-term from those high forces in the middle of those hot summer months, okay? All right, everybody, that's it for today's information. Thank you for your attention, everybody. And this is Mark Scheller, signing off.